Finally tonight, Anne-Marie Berger takes us to one of the more unusual art exhibits we've seen in a while. There are no do not touch signs, and it's not only okay to bring the kids, it's okay to just turn them loose. More than a thousand pieces of Nikki de Saint-Fal sculpture art can be found in museums, special collections, and sculpture parks all around the world. And for a time, St. Louisans can experience it for themselves at the Missouri Botanical Gardens. I would say it is art that, that explodes out of walls. It just can't be contained in a building. It's something that's beautiful and shiny and, and colorful, and it, it's just meant to be seen out of doors. Her sculptures are fantasy, larger-than-life mosaic art, and some in this exhibit have never been seen in the United States before. The Buddha that you can see behind me was a gift to one of her collectors in Japan. So this um, particular collector had bought many pieces of art from Nikki, so she made this Buddha as a gift. And then um, that particular collector asked to have it in this show, so he shipped it over here to St. Louis. Nikki de Saint-Fal was born in France and spent much of her childhood here in the United States. She's one of few female artists to reach great prominence, and although she passed away in 2002, her sculptures continue to make an impression. Nikki believed that her, her most important audience were children. She really felt very strongly that children should become a part of the art, to, to live around art, to, be, to touch it, to interact with it. And that, was, that gave her the greatest joy of all, to see children interacting with her art. So she specifically made pieces that children could touch and feel and climb on. All right. I'm good at maps. You're good at maps? So who better to experience okay, so right Nikki in the garden with than kids? We got lots more stuff to see. You guys want to see some more art? Yeah! Yeah! Nikki would be pleased because if immersing children in art was the intention with her sculptures, these kids demonstrate it's impossible not to touch, climb, and run to them. There they go. Wait, guys, wait for me! Sometimes you see parents want to stop them and it, because they're not used to being able to touch art, but boy, they know it. children intuitively know what to do with the art. Um, when they're near it, they just climb all over it and they touch it. The color, the size, the texture, what's a four-year-old to do? And Nikki in the garden proves that even kids can discuss the meaning of art. Hmm, that one kind of thinks me about rainbows. Oh, you know it's on her. No, so, uh, she has a big heart. <laughs> oh, big heart. I think that's an ocean, and she's standing on one foot, on one foot, on one foot, surfing. What do you like about it? Uh, I just like the colorful things. Yeah? The mosaic, blue, green, gold, red, orange, yeah. blue. 